シーフード居酒屋目利きの銀次サムライジュンジロチャンネルはい、I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we are going to introduce you Seafood Izakaya, Mekiki no Genji. You can enjoy great seafood that's been collected around Japan in a reasonable price. We'll share the total price at the end, so keep watching. Then, let's get moving! We have arrived at the Izakaya. Mekiki no Ginji is located in Tokyo, Asakusa, Tsukiji, and 200 more stores around Japan. I'll leave the store address in the description box. There are lanterns inside the restaurant and have festive vibe. There are seats that come with TV. Let's first order. Almost all menus come with pictures, so it's easy to check what's on the menus. We'll be ordering seven recommended menus. You can also check the menu in English, Chinese, or Korean when you scan the code on the menu. Let's begin with the drinks first. Of course, we want to get a pint of beer to start. Up until 6 pm on weekdays, you can enjoy six different alcoholic beverages in half the original price. Cheers! Otoshi, a small dish of appetizer, have arrived. This is chicken and radish cooked in soy sauce and other ingredients. The savory smell of soy sauce is very appetizing. The flavor is really cooked. Inside the ingredient. The texture is so gentle since it's been cooked slowly. Its strong flavor is a perfect match to beer. Next up, it's sashimi, raw fish. It comes in a combination of sliced tuna, red snapper, salmon, and northern pink prawn. It's very rich in content. Let's have soy sauce ready on the dish and try from tuna. The flavor is thick. How about the red snapper? It's sweet and chewy. Salmon is fatty and almost melts in your mouth. Next is albacore tuna. It tastes clean and rather refreshing when compared to the tuna. And this is medium fatty tuna. It's fatty, but it's not excessive, so it doesn't make you feel too much. The bouncy texture of the shrimp is addictive. Sweetness is strong and really melts in your mouth. Our next drinks are up. This is highball, mixture of whiskey and soda. This drink is also 50% off until 6 pm. Another drink shows up. And this is lemon sour, mixture of shochu and freshly squeezed lemon juice. The drink pitches up since it's so affordable. Let me introduce what's next on the menu. This is squid tempura. Top recommendation of the store. It comes in a mountain, so the price is really good. Let's eat it together with grated radish and ginger in a warm tenzuyu dipping sauce for the tempura. We'll be dipping into the sauce before we dig in. The crispy texture and chewy squid are a great combo. Tempura has really absorbed the sauce and tastes so rich. The grated radish and ginger really refreshes the whole set. Here comes our next drink. This is grapefruit sour, a mixture of shochu and fresh grapefruit juice. This is super refreshing, and you can really drink it like a juice. Our next order has arrived. 
This is Japanese yam and cheese mixed together and cooked in an iron pan. The smell of the sauce and cheese is very tempting. Careful not to burn your tongue since it's cooked on an iron pan. The dough is so fluffy and look at how this cheese melts. It has bonito flakes and green dried seaweed over the top and tastes similar to okonomiyaki. Its strong flavor is a great go-to with alcohol. We have a portable stove set up on the table. We'll be using the stove to cook two different seafood. We'll be preparing crab butter in scallop. The butter comes with the actual crab meat. Look at this luxurious view of sea urchins on top of the scallop. It smells fragrant of the seafood. My mouth is already watering from the smell. I'll keep my eyes wide open to make sure the crab butter is not burned. It should be ready to go. I could really taste that rich crabby taste in my mouth. The flavor is so strong since there's actual crab meat. The green onion is a great addition on the dish. Let's try the scallop with sea urchin with soy sauce. The roasted smell of the soy sauce with broth surrounding the table is heaven. Can't wait to finally put my hands on them. Scallops are bouncy and chewy. And the sea urchin tastes really deep. What a luxury to eat scallop and the sea urchin at the same time. I could eat this with beer forever. Next menu is gangan yaki. It comes in a tin container that is packed with scallop, shrimp, clam, and seaweed. Japanese sake is also poured to the tin to be cooked for 10 minutes on steam. Amazing smell of seafood. And it's ready. This is the store top recommendation. By steaming the seafood with sake, the flavor and sweetness really builds up. It smells just like we are at a beach with that seaweed. Let's try from the soup. The broth from shrimp and clams are really hitting off. I could almost empty this whole soup. Clam is so huge and has thickness. It's bouncy and amazing. It tastes so good, it's beyond my words. The scallop has really took on the sweetness from the sake. The flavor is really gushing into your mouth. Can't get over how chewy the shrimp is. The broth from the clam is really cooked inside the shrimp and it's very different to those that are grilled. I cannot put down my drinks if the menu quality is this high. We got shochu mixed with green tea and whiskey with soda for our last drink order. Let's go to our finale as well. We'll be having parachirashi to close up the order. This is a bowl of plenty of seafood on top of rice with vinegar. It has tuna, salmon, red snapper, salmon roe, and cucumber. The color is very vibrant. I'll prepare soy sauce with wasabi and pour it over the bowl. Taste pure heaven with abundant seafood dancing inside my mouth. Sesame, eggs, and pickled red ginger, a great addition to complement the bowl. Our total came to $69.03, 9,668 yen. I've enjoyed abundant seafood, and this price is honestly very great deal. We highly recommend you visit this place. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.